CRISPR stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats. CRISPR plays the main role in a bacterial defense system and plays a vital role in CRISPR-Cas9 genome editing technology. Cas9 enzymes use CRISPR sequences as a guide to recognize and cut parts of the DNA that correlate to the CRISPR sequence. The CRISPR-Cas9 genome editing technology can be used in numerous ways, such as helping to stop cancer cells from replicating, helping genetically blind children regain sight, and helping to fix sickle cell anemia, among countless other possibilities. Due to the precision of this technique, future trials with this technique may make it possible to correct mutations in the human genome to treat hereditary and genetically caused diseases. CRISPR was first discovered in archaea and later in bacteria by Francisco Mojica, a scientist at the University of Alicante in Spain. He proposed that CRISPRs serve as part of the bacterial immune system, defending bacteria against invading viruses. Mr. Mojica's theory was demonstrated experimentally in 2007 by a team of scientists led by Felipe Horvath. After years of research, in January of 2013, the Zhang lab published the first method to engineer CRISPR to edit the genome in mouse and human cells. Before I tell you the ways people are currently using CRISPR-Cas9, I want to describe how this technology works. Guide RNA, along with CRISPR, help the Cas9 enzyme, nicknamed molecular scissors, helps the Cas9 enzyme figure out where to cut the DNA. In its natural form, Cas9 forms a complex with two small RNAs, and in a modified form, it can affect gene expression without having to cut DNA. Although CRISPR-Cas9 might sound simple, this process did not come without many trials and tribulations. Because the Cas9 enzyme is found in viruses, scientists had to find a way to make sure the viruses would not take over the body when injected into a person. But those tribulations were worth it. With the CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing technique, one or more genetic sequences can be manipulated at a time, and it is a mildly invasive procedure. Clinical trials in the past have offered promising results. Before humans, animals are always tested with new treatments. At the University of Texas, CRISPR was used to successfully reverse the genetic mutations allowing four beagles to live the rest of their lives free of DMD. DMD, which stands for Duquesne Muscular Dystrophy, is a genetic disorder caused by muscular degeneration and weakness, both due to the mutations of a protein called dystrophin which helps keep muscle cells intact. These dogs previously were only expected to live for five to seven years, but now these dogs had the opportunity to live happy and full lives. Although CRISPR did not restore the dystrophin levels completely, a second group of beagles had more than 50% of normal levels of dystrophin in the legs and over 90% in the heart. Researchers believe that restoring even 15% of the normal levels provides a significant benefit. Although CRISPR is a very new technique of combating genetic diseases and mutations, these trials help to show the limitless opportunities CRISPR can help to treat genetic mutations and diseases. CRISPR-Cas9 is a non-invasive technique which will save lives and change the way we help treat genetic mutations. Researchers have hopes of using CRISPR to help stop cancer 
It's already been used to restore eyesight in human and dogs, and it's been used to treat DMD in dogs, and will have many more effects in the future. Thank you for, for, thank you for watching.